Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today is another great day. We are coming up on julep season, so I'm going to show you how to make two juleps so that you are ready. You'll have one in each hand. I'm going to show you how to make the mint julep made with bourbon, the prescription julep, a little lesser known but equally delicious, made with cognac and rye whiskey. We're going to compare them, and I will show you how to make two juleps. Two. Two for the price of one. Actually, it doesn't cost you anything. Two for the price of free. If you're new to the channel, happy to have you hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make the mint julep and the prescription julep. To the bar. Juleps are old, really old. They predate the cocktail. In fact, juleps traditionally were a medicinal concoction. And then in the 1600s, you start seeing alcohol included which was a great improvement. Now today you associate mint with juleps, at least I do. But that didn't really happen until the early 1800s, where in the American South, it became pretty popular. And these drinks are just great in warm weather. Popularity of the drink spread throughout the country and then the world until the late 1800s, where it started to kind of decline. I assume it's because classic cocktails, what we call classic cocktails today, became really popular, but I don't know if that's true or not. One thing that did happen though, is the bourbon julep made with mint had a marriage with the Kentucky Derby. And in 1939 became the official drink of the Kentucky Derby, which we're gonna make today. I'll show you how I make it. But we're also gonna make the prescription julep, which I really like. And we have been serving this at the bar for a long time. The recipe, I should point out, is from the book Imbibe by David Wondrich. This book right here. And I learned a lot about juleps. You learn a lot about all cocktails in this book. If you're not familiar with it, you should pick it up. Very good reading. Now, as far as tools, I'm gonna shake this drink, both of them. You could build it right in the cup because a lot of people do that and it works really well, but I like to shake it. I got two Boston shakers, my jigger, fine mesh strainer, Hawthorne strainer, and two straws. We're also gonna need cups, julep cups, that we wanna keep cold. So I actually have mine in the freezer right now. Just so you can see, this is my cold, not frosting up. This is cold, I guarantee it. You don't have to serve it in a metal cup. In fact, as I was doing this, I realized I have a julep cup that is not metal from Buffalo Trace Distillery. And I bought it years ago. This was a souvenir and I love it, but I have never used this as a julep cup. This is my coffee cup. I like the metal cups. Now we can talk the booze. For the mint julep with the bourbon, we're gonna need bourbon and a rich demerara syrup. I like the rich demerara syrup. It has a little bit of texture, but also demerara and bourbon, all brown spirits, is really good. But you could use regular simple if you want. You're also gonna want mint, because it's a mint julep. As for the prescription julep, we're gonna use that same demerara syrup, cognac, and rye whiskey, and mint. The bourbon I'm using is Buffalo Trace. The cognac I'm using is Maison Rouge VSOP. And the rye whiskey I'm using is Rittenhouse 100 Proof Rye. No citrus to add, no bitters. You can see why this is one of the earliest concoctions. Let's build. So, we're gonna build them in here. Let's start with the mint. I like a fair amount of mint. However much mint you want, there's no real science, I don't think. Don't put the stem in though, because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna shake this up with ice. Kind of the equivalent of muddling the mint. If you muddle up or break up the stems, it can get really bitter. I'm going mint heavy here. Got one, two, five, six, six little seven, eight. Let's say six to eight mint leaves right in there. I'm not gonna muddle it. Don't touch it. Now another one. I wanna keep these even though. Can you see? Let's do the sugar. Demerara sugar. I'm gonna do a half an ounce in each. And this is a rich syrup. Half an ounce of rich, simple syrup sounds like a lot of sugar. But the thing is, we're gonna shake this and then we're gonna pour it over crushed ice. And crushed ice is gonna dilute that, kind of like tiki drinks. So you want the extra sugar to hold up to the dilution. So I'm doing a half ounce in both of them. Let's see, let's do the bourbon one in here. Bourbon, bourbon, bourbon. Two ounces of bourbon. This also washes out the jigger, so it gets the rest of the syrup. All right, now we can mosey on to the next one. And the base here is gonna be cognac. Cognac and rye together, so an ounce and a half of cognac. And half an ounce of rye whiskey. I like a higher proof rye just because I'm only adding half an ounce and I want it to hold up. So there we are. As you can see, the builds are very similar. Now add ice and shake. So I just have standard cubes. You could shake it up with crushed ice, but I want the bigger cube to kind of 
bang around that mint. That's what it is. Give it a shake. Doesn't even have to be a full 10 seconds. Let's say five to eight seconds. That's pretty good. You can smell the mint once you crack it open. It smells really nice. And there's gonna be bits of mint in there. So that's why we have the fine mesh strainer. Get your chilled julep cups. See, now they look really cold. Add crushed ice. Dump it right into the cups. Let's fill it up about halfway. And now double strain right into the cocktail cup. This one here is the prescription. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's bubbling up. Science. No, it's just air. Now the bourbon mint julep. Now with more crushed ice, we can dump it right on top. Make kind of a snow cone effect here. You're gonna make a mess. <laughs> there, it's pretty good. Now for the mint, you're gonna have to wake it up. Just get a good sprig. Drop straws right next to the mint. We want a nose full of mint when we go in for a sip. There they are. Oz, would you join me? Doop doop. All right. I would say start with the mint julep. That's the one everybody knows. I don't think I've ever had a mint julep. Oh, really? Ever, not even a real one. No, I mean, not oh. a real one. Oh, this is great then. These cups are fancy. Can I go first? Please, please, okay. please. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, it's good. Okay. <laughs> it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Like not in a bad way. It's good. It's refreshing, sweet. I forgot that there's no citrus in here. Yeah, no citrus, no bitters. Mm, but you get the bourbon too at the end. And the mint. You get like subtle mint in there. And it's so cold. Look how cold that is. That's so cold. <laughs> okay, this one. The prescription the julep. The prescription julep. Oh, similar but different. Similar I but mean, different. And you don't want to drink too much right away just because you'll get all of the booze and then you're left with just the crushed ice. The idea is to drink them slowly. Oh. What I like about the prescription julep is with the addition of the cognac, it does add a fruity element to it. Mm, yeah. But at the same time, you've got that little bit of rye. So you get this rye spice. You notice you're drinking whiskey right at the end there. It's tough to, to pick I don't one know, over the I other. I don't know which one I like better. I think it's a mood mm, thing. Mm. And it's, Really fun for both of these. It's fun to get the little ice bits in the straw. If you're used to drinking bourbon mint juleps, try the prescription julep. I think you're gonna like it, but there is nothing wrong with a bourbon julep. It is good. Mm -hmm. The bourbon julep is good. Yeah. You gotta try both. You just, just make both. Just make both. No winners, no losers. Yeah, There's... put it in a fancy cup. Yeah. Like you're a fancy person. Let us know if you tried one or both of these juleps. If you're a big julep fan, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and YouTube will tell you when another video comes out. Do it.